Today, I want to show you the Mermaid VS Code plugin and how it fits into a real developer workflow. This isn't just a quick feature overview. This is about how teams actually document their architecture, systems, and processes alongside their code without leaving their editor. Before diving into the Mermaid VS Code plugin itself, it's important to first understand what Mermaid is and how it ties into the plugin. Mermaid lets you create diagrams using plain text. You don't have to worry about moving boxes around, lining things up, or manually placing elements. You just start typing, and Mermaid figures out the layout for you. The syntax is simple and markdown-like, which means you can create diagrams in seconds, and because everything is just text, the Mermaid diagrams are completely version control friendly, and they live as text files inside your repo just like your code. This also means diagrams can be reviewed in pull requests, tracked over time, and updated as the system changes without ever becoming outdated screenshots. And this is where the Mermaid VS Code plugin really shines. Traditionally, if you wanted to render Mermaid diagrams, you'd need to use the Mermaid JavaScript API, embed diagrams inside an HTML file, or use some external rendering service. With the VS Code plugin, none of that is necessary. You get a live interactive preview of your Mermaid diagrams directly inside VS Code. There's no context switching. You stay in your editor the entire time. You write Mermaid code on one side and instantly see the render diagram on the other. It feels just like working with code. To show this in action, I'm going to create a .mmd file. This stands for Mermaid Markdown. And inside this file, I can immediately start writing Mermaid syntax. Here you can see some starting templates that we can pick from, or you can start writing the syntax entirely from scratch. And you can find the documentation for the syntax of each type of diagram on our website. Once the diagram is written, I can right click inside the text file and either connect the diagram through my account to the website, or what I'm gonna do right now is click preview diagram. And just like that, the diagram is rendered and interactive without leaving VS Code. This is especially useful when you're working in a real code base like the Mermaid repo itself that I'm using because your diagrams can reference real systems and real workflows. It's important to note that Mermaid also works inside regular markdown files. Here, I can create a Mermaid code block, paste in the same Mermaid syntax, and the diagram lives directly inside my documentation. And where markdown is supported, Mermaid diagrams can live right alongside the text. This is perfect for readmes, internal docs, design specs, and even pull request descriptions. Here you also have options from the plugin to connect the diagram like we talked about earlier, or you can hit edit diagram to make live changes to your diagram and preview it at the same time. Markdown has native Mermaid support, so many tools like GitHub will automatically render these diagrams for you. However, those render diagrams aren't interactive. With the plugin preview, you can zoom, you can pan, and inspect diagrams in a way that's much more useful while actively working. I want to now quickly run through some of the diagram types that we support, each with their own tiny example, to demonstrate their use cases. Using the plugin, you can create flowcharts, and flowcharts are great for visualizing processes, logic, and decision trees. In real work, this is incredibly useful for documenting contribution workflows, CI pipelines, or business logic, especially for onboarding new team members. Next, we have sequence diagrams. These are ideal for APIs, user flows, and system interactions. Sequence diagrams make it very clear who is talking to who and in what order. This is invaluable when explaining integrations or debugging complex interactions. Class diagrams are perfect for visualizing architecture and data models. In real projects, this helps teams quickly understand structure, inheritance, and responsibilities, especially in large or shared code bases. State diagrams let you model how something changes over time. These are especially useful for UI flows, editor states, and application lifestyle logic where edge cases can easily be missed. Entity relationship or ER diagrams are used to describe data relationships. They're incredibly useful for database design, backend planning, or even just conceptual models that need to be shared across teams. You can also create Gantt charts for planning and timelines. This allows teams to keep planning artifacts directly in their repos, fully versioned and always up to date. And the last one I'll show are Git graphs, which are great for explaining repository history and branching strategies. This is especially useful for onboarding, documentation, and teaching Git concepts without relying on static images. All right, let's talk about how you actually use the Mermaid VS Code plugin day to day. To install the plugin from inside VS Code, I'll open the extensions panel, search for Mermaid, and install the plugin from here. This usually takes about 10 seconds. There's no additional dependencies or config files to set up. All you need to do is log into your account. Once it's installed, you'll see the icon pop up here on the left, and you're ready to start creating and previewing diagrams immediately. You can download and preview any diagrams that you have saved to your account from here. Now, let's take a closer look at the core experience, the live preview. Here I'm typing Mermaid syntax directly into the editor. And as I type, the preview updates instantly. And we can have this split editor view, so the Mermaid code is on one side and the render diagram is on the other. It's no refresh button or switching to another tool. Everything happens in real time. From inside the live preview, as we've seen before, you can zoom in and out on your diagram, you can pan around, 
or reset the view back to the default. We also support different themes that you can change to, and you can export your diagram either as a PNG or SVG, each with its own specific background color. This experience is a huge improvement over screenshots or external diagramming tools. With screenshots, every change means re-exporting an image, and with external tools, you're constantly context switching. Here, the diagram is always in sync with the code because it is code. Another big advantage is how fast iteration becomes. Here, I'll introduce a small syntax error, and you can immediately see the error feedback in the preview, telling us exactly what needs to be fixed. And as soon as I fix it, the diagram updates immediately. There's no guessing, no broken images, and no waiting. You get immediate feedback as you work. The Mermaid VS Code plugin also includes AI-powered features through the use of Copilot that help you generate and evolve diagrams even faster. For example, I can generate diagrams through prompts or code by using AI chat commands. All I have to do is first reference the Mermaid plugin and then go from there. So as an example, I'll just prompt it to create a sequence diagram on the Mermaid API. And then from here, I can add any context that might be needed. This would be useful for if you wanted to visualize certain files and how they interact with each other. But since this one is more generic, I'm just gonna leave it at that. And then you can hit enter, it'll think for a while and then generate when it's ready. And then when it's done, you can either copy the mermaid code directly or you can hit go to diagram and it will open it up in the live preview. And you can see it generated exactly what we wanted. We have a sequence diagram going through all of these steps for the mermaid API. So that was an example of a prompt, but we also provide some powerful commands for the AI as well. All you have to do is hit slash and you can see a list of all of the commands that we have. And I won't go through all of them, but basically how they work is that the AI scans your code base and then generates the appropriate diagram. So here I'll use the analyze code ownership command, which will give us a visual representation of who has been working on which files and packages and who maintains them. And then when I hit enter, it will ask me to choose a time period. I'll just choose one year and I can select which directory or files I want to take a look at specifically. I'll just select docs so we can focus specifically on the documentation, and it'll start its analysis and generate when it's ready. Once it's done, it'll give us its analysis, and like before, we can either copy the mermaid code or view it directly in the editor. And then it shows us visually who has been working on which parts of the code, and whether or not those are actively maintained, moderately maintained, lightly, or even unmaintained. And like I said earlier, the other commands are similar. They scan your code base and give you a visual analysis. We're gonna have it generate a C4 or cloud architecture diagram in which it'll scan our code base and then create those diagrams so we can visualize the architecture of it. Dependency diagram is also an interesting one. Here I can choose which dependency files I want to select and just hit okay. And it'll take the files that we included, analyze the dependencies found in those and categorize them. Generate Docker Diagram will analyze your Docker related files and create a diagram on its infrastructure. We can have it generate ER diagrams from our code base so we can visualize any entities and their relationships. And lastly, we can have it generate an execution sequence diagram in which we can see our components and how they interact and communicate with each other. So you can see how much more efficient we can be just by using these AI features. And these are especially powerful when working on large code bases as understanding structure quickly really matters. And one thing to note when creating diagrams from your code base is that it comes with smart diagram regeneration. What that means is that when your source code or requirements change, the extension can detect these changes automatically and offer to update any related diagrams with a single click. If you compare the Mermaid VS Code plugin to traditional diagramming tools, the difference is clear. Drag and drop tools create files that don't live with your code, static screenshots go out of date almost immediately, and external editors break your flow and create extra maintenance work. With Mermaid and the VS Code plugin, you get a single source of truth. Diagrams are text-based, so they're searchable, reviewable, and version controlled. They live where developers already work, and most importantly, you eliminate the out-of-date diagram problem entirely. The Mermaid VS Code plugin turns diagrams into living documentation. You work where you work, and your diagrams evolve right alongside your code. If your team wants clearer communication, better documentation, and fewer context switches, this is a natural fit for your workflow.